our journey begins with the origin of the init.py file. This is a time back then where the Python community was grappling with the challenge of managing code in a modular and scalable manner. Throughout the years, as Python grew in popularity and complexity, developers encountered difficulties in organizing their project into compatible units, lacking a means to communicate and collaborate effectively. So, as people faced with these challenges, Python developers sought to sort out a solution to the problem. And this was the time where the mysterious init.py was born. But the question arises, how do we actually implement the init.py in our Python project with a real-world example? So today, we're going to create a Python package where I'm going to illustrate how the init.py file is used in Python projects. So I'm going to head over to my code editor and then create a new project. I'm going to create a new folder, which I'm going to give it a name called my package. And inside this folder, I'm going to create a new Python file, which I'm going to say module1.py and then hit enter. So inside this file, we can write regular Python code. I'm going to create a Python function, which I'm going to use to demonstrate how to use init.py. So I'm going to define our function by saying def and give the function a name, which I'm going to say grid then parentheses, and finally a column. So I'm going to tell this function to print parentheses hello from module 1. So to treat this as a Python package, I'm going to create a new Python file inside my package folder and then give it a name underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py and then hit enter. And inside this file, I'm going to write from dot module one import star the star here means we are importing all the functions we create and also the ones we're going to create in the future from the module one dot py file and the reason why we are able to do this is because in python every file containing python code is treated as a module regardless of its name that python file can be imported and be used in other python scripts as a module and now our Python package is complete. So when we create packages in Python programming, the presence of this init.py file indicates that this folder is a Python package and this file serves as the initialization script for our package. So let's actually test this package to see if it works. I'm going to close the folder and create a new Python file outside my package, which I'm going to say app.py now let's import my package so all we need to do is to type import my package and finally i'm going to access our grid function we wrote earlier which i'm going to say my package.grid and when i run the code then we get back the message hello from module 1 and if you could remember we wrote this function inside my package folder and inside module1.py, the reason why we could access this grid function from app.py is because without this init.py file we created, Python would not recognize this as a package. In other words, this init.py file tells the Python interpreter that this my package folder is actually a Python package. So inside module 1, I can also create another function. Let's call it farewell. And then we're going to make the function print goodbye from module 1. And then I'm going to head back to app.py. So in order to access the farewell function, I'm going to say my package.farewell. And when we run app.py, then we get back hello world from module 1. And also goodbye from module 1, which is awesome, right? So let me show you another interesting example, which is awesome. Inside my package folder, I'm going to create a new Python file called module2.py. And inside this file, I will create a variable name equals to the string softlinks. 
and back to init.py i'm going to say from dot module to import star to import everything from the file now i'm going to head back to app.py then we're going to say my package dot name notice we are passing the name alone without parentheses because name is not a python function all like greet and farewell so it's actually a variable string we created inside our module 2 file and finally we're gonna print all of this and when we run the code we get back soft links goodbye from module 1 and then hello from module 1 which is awesome right so this is how all your favorite python packages are being created because this init.py file organizes our python code into modular components which makes it easier to manage and reuse our code so i know you have a clear understanding on how to use init.py in your python project if you have any questions feel free to comment down in the comment section below see you next time and as always take care